Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're going to be remaking these sides for a barbecue. can't use these anymore so I think my plan for this is I have this uh, I think it's one by three left from another project which is fairly close to what I need so I've got a few lengths of this so I think what I'm gonna do is I will cut this down to size um, and then attempt it will be my first ever one of doing um, a joint like this but I think that's going to be the easiest way of doing it. So I'll glue and then I'll I'll pin nail it. But that should be roughly the right sort of size stock. Right, well, good thing I've got. Oh, okay.
Okay, so I've got the nuts epoxied in to the holes uh, which fit this. I did have to clean out some of the epoxy that I left inside, but hopefully these will just sit in and fit once I give everything a good little tidy up. So I'm gonna do a dry fit of that now and see how I get on. Okay, I'm gonna level with you. The whole nut idea and epoxying it in was rubbish. Shouldn't have done it, shouldn't have even tried it. Should have done it properly from the start. But I decided to try it and, well, it was rubbish. So I did go for the proper threaded inserts in the end. Um, these came from Amazon. Unfortunately, they are cheap as chips, which you will see in a minute, and I had a problem actually putting them in. Um, so if you're gonna buy these, go for the proper ones that aren't stupidly cheap and uh, you'll have a much better time fitting it. So I'll show you what I've done with these instead. And while I'm doing this, a little shout out to the old man who made these uh, little triangles on his 3D printer for me. He did try and get Brookswood on them, but uh, didn't come out as well as he hoped. But still look really good though, quite happy with how they turned out, and they work perfectly. So the last bit to fit to this is the hooks for the barbecue tools and tongs and things that I sprayed. Again, they used to be silver, but it'd come off so badly and was rusted, I, I had to redo them. Annoyingly, I've missed a little bit here, so I may have to respray it. It's annoying because I covered the rest of it really well. No. I think I'll be alright. And I'm actually going to attach these with slightly different bolts because I've run out of the other ones. And I really don't want to have to cut anymore. So they'll have to make do with these ones. It's all about the recycling, isn't it? And there you go. So these are the barbecue wings that have come out for my brother. Uh, look quite nice in the end. Pretty smart. 
repainted the hooks for it to make sure they were still looking good rather than rusty and then remade the top sides slightly different design because I've got less slats than he had originally but it looks a bit beefier and bulkier uh, which is what I like so and I know what he likes so hopefully he'll he'll enjoy it too um, but these are ready to go for him hopefully while I'm talking to you now there are some pictures appearing on screen of him installed them onto his barbecue and it looking lovely I know that he's going to do a restoration of that one so that'll be quite nice to see at the end but um yeah all nice finished finished with some nice Danish oil and then uh, just looking lovely so I hope you enjoyed that one and I'll see you in the next video thank you very much for watching guys it means the world to me that you watch all my videos uh, I've got links here for you if you want to watch another one of my videos uh, I've got the sticker all up so if you want to do a sticker swap check out the link in the description for my Instagram and I will happily do a nice swap for you doesn't matter where you are in the world and uh, make sure you hit that subscribe or hit the like and the subscribe button for the videos uh, as it all helps me grow the channel and if you want to hit the bell as well and then you'll know exactly when I post a video don't forget I've got t-shirts uh, and merch available for you and if you want to support me on Patreon I'd be eternally grateful. Thanks very much guys, see you later.